the home opener of the Castlewood Blue Devils as they take on the Russell County rivals, the Honeaker Tigers, who over the years, they have played each other a total of 53 times. And uh, Honeaker leads the all-time series 31 to 27. And last year at Honeaker, the Tigers defeated the Blue Devils 49 to 7. And next week, it'd be Lebanon at Eastside, Castlewood at Thomas Walker, and Twin Valley at Honeaker. And so we're here for the home opener of the Castlewood Blue Devils. And Castlewood getting ready to come out on the field as the fans are standing on the Castlewood side, which where we're broadcasting from. <clears throat> this is a non-district game as Cumberland's representative is Castlewood and the Black Diamond representative is Honeaker. And as I mentioned earlier, Honeaker and Castlewood or both of Russell County also last week Honeaker lost their opening game of the season when they lost to uh, Lebanon 19 to 13 and Castlewood traveled to Tennessee and beat defeated North Green by a score of 49 to 20 so Honeaker looks to bounce back tonight as we'll play be playing our national anthem And the National Anthem has been played, played by the Castlewood Blue Devil Marching Band. And it's time now for, as the PA announcer said, are you ready for some football? This guy right here is always ready for football. As we get ready for the opening kickoff, as uh, Castlewood will receive and Honeaker will be kicking off. As they're going, <clears throat> going over last minute instructions from their respective referees and coaches. <clears throat> and Castlewood comes out on the field to receive the opening kickoff of the game. Everybody's set. On Anchor Agent 6, we got Jimmy Chouse, Slate Castle ready to re receive. Number three, every music to kick the ball. And here's the kick, a line drive, fielded on Maybe about the 15. Return. Number one on the return, takes it, brings it on up, avoids some tackles and gets up close to the 40-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Blue Devils from their own 39-yard line. As we're underway with 
the opening kickoff has been taken. So Castlewood sets up first and 10 from their own 39. <clears throat> Quarterback in shotgun formation. Handoff to number 21. He gets to about the 40 or 41 yard line, so a short gain. So it'll be second and about eight or nine. So give you second and eight. About eight. Second and eight from the their own 41 yard line for the Blue Devils. As that running play netted a gain of two. Castlewood up to the line now again, ready to go. Still in a spread formation. Quarterback gets a snap, gets a handoff, and short gain. Man, he keeps struggling. Him. Keeps bouncing off people and finally wrapped up and brought down on about the 43 yard line, I believe. Uh, they, give me the, they give it to the 44. So that brings up third and about five. We got about third and five. 10.46 left here in the first quarter. Castlewood with their first possession of the game. Third and five. Spread formation once again for the Blue Devils. Quarterback back to pass, throws, and it's incomplete. For Slate, we got fourth and five. So it'll be fourth and five from their own 44. Fourth and five. Castlewood in punt formation. Number nine, Caden Dishman. And a flag down. Obviously. It always is. Let me fall start against the Blue. Foul start against the Blue Devils. So that'll make it fourth and nine. Fourth and ten. Well, fourth, they say fourth and ten. But. Dishman the punt. Dishman in the punt for the Blue Devils. And there's the punt. Return from the 30 and a good open field tackle by the Blue Devils. So, a short return for the uh, Tigers. It'll be a first, first and 10, the Tigers on the 34. From their own 34 yard line for the Honeaker Tigers. A little over 10 minutes left here in the first quarter, so we're still early in the game. Honecker comes to the line, and they also using a spread formation. Pass, screen pass out, and he overshoots the run, um, overshoots the re intended receiver. <coughs> so that brings up second down and ten yards to go from their own 34 for the Honecker Tigers. <coughs> Honeaker are a perennial favorite in the uh, Black Diamond District. However, this year, the f team favored to win the district is Grundy. <coughs> Second 10, Honeaker back to pass again. <coughs> and pass is incomplete. Favorite music incomplete. We got third and 10. Brings up third and 10 for the uh, Tigers. Come on, Devils, let's make some noise. And the fans on, on the Castlewood side are getting into this game early. We're still deadlocked at zero. Third and ten, obvious passing situation for the Tigers. And it's a quarterback draw, and he gets nowhere. No good. So that brings up fourth down. Brought down by number seven, Bradley Stephens. 
Where you go, four? And ten. Fourth and ten from the uh, 34 right, yards. Right. So Honecker and Pump three, Formation. Three. Waiting for the snap from the center. Low snap. Pump was almost blocked. Gets a good Honecker roll. To about the 20 or 21 yard line. It's where. Um, it's going to be a Blue Devil first down around about the 21. So it's first and 10 for Castlewood from their own 21 yard line. Still no score. A little over nine minutes left in the first quarter of play. This is the second possession for the Blue Devils. Neither team has picked up a first down yet. And he gains up to about the 29 or 30. So that should be a gain of about eight or nine yards. So it's second and short. So it's second and one from the 30 yard line for the uh, Blue Devils as they're looking for their initial first down of the game. Low snap, handoff, and Down by contact as he lost the ball. The 30, bring it third and two. So it's third and about two. Is that the 30? <clears throat> Shotgun formation. Tries to get outside and fails to make it as he couldn't cut to the outside. So I lost there, so I bring up fourth down. Fourth and about four from their own 28. Dishman in the punt. Dishman in the punt for the Blue Devils. Low snap, gets the ball away. And the ball rolls dead at about the, about the 36 yard line. So, Honecker comes back out on offense. Seven eighteen left in the first quarter. Still no, still no score. Thirty-six. Honaker went three and out on their last possession. Shotgun formation and a whistle. Two flags are down. Illegal pro illegal procedure against the Tigers, so that moves them back five yards to about the thirty-one. So it'll be first and 15. Yard penalty. First and 15. So the Tigers come up facing a first and 15. Running play and box and weaves. And brought down by the um, gain of two as he's brought down by the entire defense. So that makes it second and th about 13. Gain of three. Number up second and 12. Okay, be second and 12, they say. From the 28. Quarterback keeper. 
So that brings up third down. Brought down around the 40 yard line. A gain of about six, so it'd be third down and about six. Quarterback drives, gets the pass out. Pass completed. And it looks like he got enough for the first down. Number 88, Malachi Lowe. And it's going to be enough for a Tiger first down. That's the initial first down of the game. The first one for either team, that one picked up by Honecker. So they're down to about the 48, their own 48. A little over five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. And there's still no score. Another handoff. And he breaks loose outside and gets down to about the 41, maybe the 42 of uh, Castlewood. And he says he got enough for another first down. First and 10 on the 46. Excuse me, 41. On the 41-yard line. Low on the carry. And another good gain on first down. We had no for another first down. And they pick up another first down on this sustained drive. That puts them down to about the 28 or 29 yard line. Looking at the scoreboard, it says the 28 yard line. First and 10 from the Castlewood 28 yard line for the uh, Tigers. And another got flags. That looks like to me an um, illegal procedure. So that'd be a five yard penalty, it looks like, on Honeaker which will make it first and 15. And that's what they call. So it's first and 15 from the 33 yard line now. We got the first and 15. From the 33 of Castlewood for the Tigers of Honeacre. Less than five minutes left down in the first quarter. Quarterback keeper. And gain of about three. So that'd make it second and about 12. Like about second, 13 to go. Okay, gain two yards. So it's second and 13 from the 31. A little screen pass to number 18. And he brings it down. Caught out of bounds. To about the. See where they mark it at. So it gives them a third and three. Homemaker to the line. Quarterback looking over the defense. Calls the signals. Snap and uh, loss of yardage. So I bring up fourth down. Less than four minutes left in the first quarter. Still no score. Fourth and six. So it's fourth and about six. Uh, so a loss of three. Puts it back to the 25-yard line. Which means they have to get to the 19-yard line to get a first down. Quarterback back to pass. Throws deep. And a flag down 
And from where it's positioned at, probably interference. Would you give them an automatic first down if that's what the call is? Pass interference against Castlewood. So that gives Honecker our first down on that fourth down play. Honecker up to the line. Pass is incomplete. We got second and ten. Be second and ten for the Tigers with the ball on the eleven yard line. So they can get a first down without scoring. Three twenty one. One on the keeper. And the quarterback keeper. Brought down by Castle. Kaiser. Brought, brought down by Castle and Kaiser at about the gain of about eight. About the, third and two. That's a third and two from the three yard line. And the Castlewood defense sniffed that play out. So it's fourth and about one. Fourth and one for the uh, Tigers. Key moment early in the game. And it does not look like he made it. Let's see what the official verdict is. Like we're going to measure. There's going to be a, a measurement to see if he got the necessary yardage to get the first down. As they slowly make their way out to the field, the um, guys with the markers. First down. First down, barely. So it's first and go to go for the Tigers. Timeout, Blue Devils. And Castlewood calls timeout with timeout on the field. Still no score. 204 left in the first quarter of play from ARC TV as we are at Castlewood High School with tonight's encounter between the Castlewood Blue Devils. And the Honeaker Tigers. First and go for the First and go to go for the Tigers from the two yard line. And quarterback keeper uh, quarterback tackle for a loss back to about mm, maybe the as far back as the twelve yard line. Well, no, they're saying. Second and go. Second and go from about the seven yard line. Less than a minute and a half left here in the first quarter. No score. Honecker is threatening to break at. 12 on the keeper. Quarterback's on the Everybody keeper again. The and he's tackled for no gain. So that'll bring up third down. We got third and go. 
third and go for the Tigers. And by the time this ball snaps, we'll have less than a minute left in the first quarter. With no score. There's the snap. Fade well, pattern. And nice pass out of bounds. Pass incomplete. So that brings up fourth and goal to go for the Tigers. Come on, Davis, let's make some noise. Fourth down. Fourth and, fourth and goal from the seven yard line. Ball snap, pass. And it's a touchdown, even though I never did see any official signal a touchdown. So Honeaker scores first with 39 seconds left in the first quarter of play on a seven yard pass. That makes your score now. On acre six, Castlewood nothing with the PAT conversion coming up. Number seven, Tyler Stevens back with a point after attempt. There's the kick, and it is good. Makes the score good. seven to nothing in favor of Hone Acre. Left in your first. With 39 Tyler seconds seven. left Here's in zero. the first quarter. A play, you score. Hone Acre seven, Castlewood zero. And we'll get ready for the kickoff. So, <clears throat> Castlewood sets up to receive the kickoff. Honecker going over some last minute instructions. A little bit of confusion there between where they're supposed to be at. Castlewood was lining up to receive the kickoff, but they were too far up on the field. <coughs> Honeaker leads seven to nothing with a seven yard pass to, to convert to touchdown with 39 seconds Tigers left in the first quarter and they gained that on a fourth down pass play. And it's not looking good at all right now on this kickoff return. As the ball skipped off the hands of, <clears throat> of one of the Blue Devils and that destroyed any momentum they would have had on a kickoff return. So they'll start from them. It'll be first and 10 for your Devils from the 10 yard line. First and 10 from the 10. From their own 10 for Castlewood with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Seven to nothing is your score. Honecker with the lead. Passed over the middle. Pass on my throat. In the tunnel. And that's their first, that's Castlewood's first, first down of the game. Blue Devil, first down. And the clock is running. Less than 15 seconds left in the first quarter of play. They may not be in a hurry to get this play off before the end of the quarter. And, and that's, the end, that's the end of the first quarter of play with your score. Honeaker 7, Castlewood 0.
And we start the second quarter, Castlewood with the ball. And quarterback is sacked. Uh -oh. So I bring up Brought third down. By number 82, Logan Boyd. Third and about 16. We got third and 16. Ball on the 14 yard line. Castlewood digressing into the progressing and the movement of the ball. Third and 16. As we just underway in the second quarter of play. Shotgun formation. Flag. The lay game penalty against the pen, uh, penalty it goes against the Blue Devils. So that bring up third and 21 from the nine yard line. So to get a first down, they're going to have to get to the 30. Third and long. Third and about a mile. Well, actually, 21 yards to go for the uh, Blue Devils to get a first down and keep possession of the ball. Pass is put off and deflected out of bounds. So I bring out fourth and down. Pass fourth and 21. So the Blue Devils will be forced to punt deep from their own territory. And the punter will be back in the end zone. So. On the flip of the field, Honecker should come out of this with pretty good field position. Seven to nothing is your score with 11.05 left until halftime. Timeout, Blue Devils. And Castlewood calls a timeout. That's their second. So, with timeout on the field, your score Honecker seven, Castlewood zero. Dishman back to punt, back to punt and, and he'll be in his own end zone on fourth and 21. Snap and a bad kick. As if, apparently, he hit off the helmet of one of the players. Ball down by number 10. Mid ball. So, uh, Honaker will take over on. About the 31 yard line of Castlewood with 11 minutes left till halftime. Honecker attempts to take, take advantage of this excellent field position from, their, from the uh, Blue Devil 31. Quarterback back, looks, dumps it off, and it's incomplete. Pass incomplete, continue for number 10. So, so it's second and ten for the uh, Tigers from the Castlewood 31-yard line. And Honecker's ready to go. Snap. Pass over the middle. A fumble. And the Blue Devils recover the loose ball. After that hard hit by the defense, causes a fumble. And the Blue Devils recover. That's the first turnover for either team. Ten forty-seven left in the first half. Castlewood with a low snap, and they almost turned the ball back over on that bad snap, but the quarterback was able to recover it. Recovered by McConnell. As McConnell recovers the loose ball.
That brings up second down and 14. From their own 22 yard line. Option and that's a loose ball. That's a lateral. That wasn't a forward pass. So we'll, we'll see how they rule this one. And I heard the official say a backwards pass. So apparently, Castlewood retains possession. Covered by the devils. Hmm. Third and long. So it brings up third and about a mile and a half for the Blue Devils. As they cannot get untracked, as in, as they're continuously here in the first court, first half anyway, they're shooting themselves in the foot. And the incomplete pass. Fourth and long. So another punting situation facing the Blue Devils. And on a fourth and 19 from their own 18 yard line. As on that possession, they was negative nine yards total offense. Dishman in the punt. So Dishman be in the punt. The last time he punted, it was not a good punt. Ready to receive. Honecker set to receive with the returner back at about the Honecker 45-yard line. There's the snap. There's the kick. A wobbly kick. And, and a good tackle by number seven after a good uh, from about an eight or nine-yard return on the punt. It looks like he had an open field ahead of him if he got away from that one tackler. So once again, Honaker will start from the uh, Ryko, uh, Ryko, wrong town, from the Castlewood side of the 50-yard line. Snap, and a loss of about one. Loss of one, bring up second and 11. So it brings up second and 11 from the 46-yard line of Castlewood for the, the Tigers. <laughs> Snap, a deep pass. Pass completed. And pass completed inside the 20. So that's enough for a first down. Be first and ten, around about the eighteen. So it's first and ten from the eighteen-yard line. As this is the second time the Honeakers got into the red zone. See if they can take advantage of this one too. Stiff arm and gets around the corner. Touchdown. And scores the touchdown on an 18-yard run around the end. That makes you score now 13 to nothing. Honecker with the lead with 8-19 left in the first half of play. That would be Nick Ball in the carry. So Honecker will attempt the conversion. And a low snap, fumbled around. He dead ball, point after, no good. And the point after is no good. 8-19 left and a half. Devil zero. Tigers with a 13 to nothing lead with 8-19 left in the first half as 
Castlewood will get set to receive the kickoff. Castlewood set to receive. Honecker's kickoff. Honecker was a 13 to nothing lead with 8-19 left in the first half of play. The last two times Castlewood had possession of the ball, they were went backwards. And the last possession was a minus nine yards in total offense. Here's the kickoff. And they return it up to about the 36 yard, 36 yard up. Be first and 10 for the Devils on the 37. First and 10 for Castlewood on their own 37. Down by 13, scores 13 to zero. Let's see if they can get untracked. Like I said, the last possession was minus nine in total offense. Quarterback back to pass, throws, and off the hands of the intended receiver. So that brings up second and ten. Second and 10 from their own 37 for the Blue Devils. 8-11 left in the first half of play. Shotgun formation. Back to pass. And a fumble on the play. Strip sack and recovered by the uh, Tigers. So that gives them. So that gives them possession on the. Castlewood 30 yard line as they will attempt to take advantage of this costly turnover of the Blue Devils who right now are having trouble getting untracked and shooting themselves in the foot so to speak they're down 13 to nothing to Honaker A reverse, and it's off to the races again. And it looks like a number 12 scores on a 30 yard run. That makes the score now 19 to nothing. And it was the official's timeout. And Honecker lines up for the uh, point after kick. Last time it was a blotched hold. This time the kick is up and good. Point after a tip was good. 759 at the half. 20 to nothing is your score in favor of the Honecker Tigers, who are looking to rebound from last week's 19 to 13 loss to the Lebanon Pioneers. While Castlewood is trying to going to have to regroup and get back into this game if they want to have a shot, as they came into this game undefeated at one and zero, as of course the season just started last week, so so this is their second non-conference game for the uh, Blue Devils. And also, the 
non-conference game for Honecker is both teams will probably get into the match march of their respective uh, districts next week or in the next couple of weeks anyway. I know Castlewood travels to Honecker. I mean, excuse me, travels to Thomas Walker next week. Seventy-seven fifty-nine left in the first half. Honecker with a twenty to nothing lead. And there's a kickoff. Hits on the ground. Castle on the return. Brings up to about the thirty-five yard line. Down around about the thirty-five. Mm. Get that ass. So it's first and ten for Castlewood from their own 35-yard line. In this Russell County encounter. And the blitz gets outside. He gets to about to 41, a game of about six. So it'll be second and four. So Castlewood comes up to the line of scrimmage facing a second and four. They have to start doing something soon to get back in this game as they've been shooting themselves in the foot the entire second quarter. I almost did then, and they end up with a loss 30 on the carry. as the quarterback fumbled and snapped. And they lost about four yards, maybe five. By number 59. So that brings up third and nine. Music. Bring up third and nine. Six, over a little over six and a half minutes left till halftime. 20 to nothing, Honecker with the lead. Castlewood third and nine. And... And another costly turnover by the Blue Devils. So Honecker has it first and ten from their own 46-yard line. We got first and ten for the Tigers. 46. Honecker looking to blow this game open before halftime. It's already 20 to nothing. And Castlewood takes their third and final time out of the half with 6.29 left in the first half of play. Your score, Honecker 20, Castlewood 0. First and 10 from their own 46 with the Tigers. Bobbles the snap and gets the ball off. And the pass is incomplete. So that makes it second and 10. Six, 624 left in the first half. Honecker has plenty of time in all three timeouts left to score again. They're up by 20, 20 to nothing over Castlewood. Second and 10 from their own, 46. And, and he breaks loose and gets down to about the 36-yard line. So Honecker using the running game to eat up clock here in the first half and advance the ball at the same time. Down to the uh, Castlewood 36-yard line. Shotgun snap pass is overthrown. Pass intended for number 12. 
So at second and ten, 6.03 left now in the first half of play. And like I said, Honecker has all three of their timeouts remaining. Pass over the middle. Well, over the left side, rather. And good yardage on that pass play. And gives them enough for another first down. A little over five and a half minutes left now in the first half of play. The ball on the 25-yard line of Castlewood for the Tigers, who are threatening to score again. And the receiver and the quarterback were not on the same page on that one. He looks inside. The pass was thrown to the outside. Five and a half minutes left till halftime. 20 to nothing is your score in favor of the Tigers from Honeaker. It's second down and 10 for Honeaker from the 25 yard line of Castlewood. Pass is complete. And enough for another first down. Avery Music. Be enough for another Tiger first down. Another first down for the uh, Tigers as they move the chains. Snap, handoff, and stop for a loss. Well, low carry. Brought down the back deal for a loss. And Honecker lines up. Ready. Like about play. Sager, 15. So it's second and about 15. Pass. It's complete and. To number 12, and that gets the ball down a little bit closer. Less than five minutes left in the uh, first half. We marked on the 10-yard line. Third and five. Third and five from the 10. Man in motion. Snap. The pass is out of bounds. Incomplete. So that brings it. Brings up fourth down. We got fourth down. Fourth and five from the 15 for the uh, Tigers. Will be timeout. And Honecker calls their first timeout of the first half with your score with 427 left in the first half. Honecker 20, Castlewood 0. Fourth and five for the Tigers from the 15. Shotgun formation. Quarterback throws it toward the end zone and overthrows the receiver. So ball turned over. Ball turned over on downs. It goes to Castlewood with a first and ten from the ten. Their own ten. Ninety yards of real estate in front of them. Four twenty-three left in the first half. Castlewood comes to the line. Snap goes back. Quarterback takes off. And he gains some yardage. <laughs> Looks like a gain of about two. So it's second and eight from about the 12 yard line. Less than four minutes left till halftime. Second and eight. 
Shotgun formation. Throws it deep. And he's gone. He looks like he's gone. Yeah, no flags. Touchdown, Castlewood. On an 88 yard pass play. So that should fire this, that fires this crowd up. Maybe that's the shot that Castlewood needed to get back in the groove and get into this game. That makes the score now 20 to six. With the PAT coming up, 3.29 left in the first half, and Castlewood just broke the ice for them and scored on an 88-yard pass play. Once he got past that first guy, he was gone. Bad snap. No good. Now they're still, even though they scored on an 88-yard pass play, they're still shooting themselves in the foot. But it's now 20 to six. Honecker with the lead, 329. 3:29 left in the first half. 20 to six. Honecker with the lead. After that 88-yard pass play from the Blue Devils quarterback to the receiver. And like I said, once he got past that first tackler, he was gone. He could have mailed that in. There wasn't nobody coming close. So um, we may have ourselves a ball game now, folks. 329 left in the first half. Castlewood lining up the kickoff. So let's see what happens in this last 329 of the first half. Honecker has two timeouts left. So they got 329 and two timeouts to work with. And so, and here's the kick, and down inside the thirty. As that took every bit of one second. Looks like around about the 17. So the ball will be down at the 17 yard line. So 83 yards of real estate left in front of Honaker with a 20 to 6 lead and two timeouts. So they got plenty of time to work with along with the two timeouts. So that 329 could last a while. And a fumble on the play and recovered by Honecker recovers their own fumble. Recovered by the Tigers. Talk about second and 14. Second and 14 from the 13 yard line. Shotgun formation, three receivers split to the right. Pass is incomplete because it hit the ground. The official says incomplete. The, the receiver says, I caught the ball. <laughs> well, we don't have the instant replay review in high school like they do in college and pros or challenges, either one. So 
The law has been laid down. It's an incomplete pass. 236 left in the first half. That brings up third and 14 from the 13. Three receiver split. Go back to pass. And pass is complete as the receiver got behind the defense. Pass completed. For a huge gain, he gets a first down. Push out of bounds around the 50. Enough for a tiger first down. A 37 yard pass play gets him down to the 50 yard line with two and a half minutes left. Till halftime. And now they'll continue on running the ball. Pass completed number three. Well, with that pass for a short game. We got second and three. Second and about four. Less than two minutes left till halftime. Shotgun, quarterback takes off and gets stopped. At about the 40 and a half yard line, there's a player down for Castlewood. And I'm not one on speculating what's wrong with anybody. So until we can get this sorted out, we will take a break with your score. Honeacre 20, Castlewood 6. And we have time back in with 154 left in the first half. Honeacre with the football. Brought down the backfield. And brought down for a loss. That brings up fourth and about two. About fourth and twelve. Fourth and twelve. Excuse me. Fourth and two, I think. Fourth is, and what, two. Is, is what it should be. Fourth and two from the uh, Castlewood 42 for the Tigers. Is that going for it on fourth down? Pass deep and incomplete. So a turnover on downs with 117. 117 left in the first half. Castlewood will take possession of the basketball. I'm a basketball. I'm wrong sport again. <laughs> from the... Uh, from their own 42-yard line for a first and 10. 117 left, down by 14, 20 to 6. As they'll t see if they can get something going before halftime. And pass is ruled complete on a slant. Number seven. Clock running. Castlewood out of timeouts. Less than a minute left. Second and five. By second and five. Low snap. Going deep. And pass deflected and incomplete. Pass incomplete. So that brings up third and five from their own 47 for the Blue Devils with 44 seconds left till halftime. Third and five. Quarterback backs the pass, gets rush, and a hard hit. Well, the pass is completed for a short gain. Well, actually, for a loss of um, four.
And Honecker calls her second timeout of the half with 22 seconds left. So that leaves them with one timeout left and 22 seconds to work with after this fourth down play. Twenty to six is your score, Honecker with the lead, and twenty-six seconds left as they had to reset the uh, clock, as they had twenty-two seconds left, and they added four seconds on it according to what the uh, official uh, suggested. So, here we go, fourth down. Fourth and six. And it looks like Castlewood's going for it. Quarterback rolls to the side, flag down, and so that will be, apparently it will be coming back, but he was short of the first down anyway, so they may decline the penalty and just take possession of the uh, football. We got an injured player. And another injured player down for uh, the Blue Devils. So there's a measurement for the first down. And but they ruled that that he didn't make it, so Honecker will have the ball when time resumes. So there's another injured player on the field for Castlewood. Well, we have time back in. 20 seconds left till halftime. Honecker's got one timeout and 20 seconds to go 50 yards. Big tiger ball on the 50-yard line. And it's coming back. It's coming back. Even though he scored a touchdown, that play's coming back. We'll be holding against the Tigers. Holding against the Tigers, so that nullifies the touchdown. First and 17 from about the 43 yard line of their own, on their side of the 50. 10 seconds, short pass and incomplete. Well, no, they say it was a backwards pass. So they're letting it play out. Let's see what happens here. Still nothing on the scoreboard. The referees are discussing it. Pass is no good. And the pass is incomplete. 
So that should be the end of the first half. So they say seven seconds left. Let's make some noise. Second down and seventeen. Seven seconds left till halftime. Quarterback throws it deep and it's picked off. And that's the end of the first half of the play with the interception by Castlewood. Your halftime score, Honecker 20, Castlewood 6. Castlewood High School between the Blue Devils of Castlewood and the Tigers of Honeaker. Honeaker with a 20 to 6 lead as we get ready to start the third quarter of play. The Blue Devils will kick to the uh, Tigers to start the third quarter. Gibson ready for the kickoff. <laughs> and start of the second half. And confusion on the kickoff. Honecker, one player started to pick it up, and the other started to pick it up. And Wait, I got it. You take it. I'll fall on it. So it would be first and ten for the uh, Tigers at about the nine or t on the eight-yard line. <clears throat> See if uh, Castlewood can exert some uh, defensive pressure on them here in this possession. Ooh! Pass immediately brought down by number five, Gibson. Pass was complete, but he was a meal. A loss of two yards on that pass. So it'll be second and 12 from about the seven yard line. Like about second and 12. And a draw play Probably gets you back up one. just past the original line of scrimmage. 12 below. So it brings up third down. That's going to bring it about a third, five or four. Five or fourth. Third and about four. Low on the carry. And they pick up enough for the first down. Gonna be enough for a Tiger first down. And moves the ball up to about the 24 or 25 yard line. Quarterback back to pass, throws it over the middle, and it's caught. 
and the player the, drags some people with him, gets up to about to 49. Enough for a Honecker first down. And don't forget about your concession stand. We have a Lions Club down here. And then we got the youth football on the other end. Still early in the third quarter of play. Honecker from their own 49. Play up, run up the middle, break it oh, down to about the 37 yard line. Be enough for another first down. <laughs> a little over nine and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Honeakers march from their own eight yard line. Screen pass, brought up down to on the reception. Short of the first. Just a little short of the first down. So it'd be second and about up second and one. And a little less than one. From the twenty eight yard line. And a loss on the third down play, uh, excuse me, second down play. So that brings down the third down in about three, Look maybe. Third, three to go. Key possession in this game. Castlewood needs to stop right here and a flag. False start. False start against against the Tigers, so that makes it third and nine now. Mm. Clock running as we approach the close to the eight minute mark of the third quarter. On acre started from their own eight. With a third and nine coming up. Ryko with, with the blitz and a big loss. Castlewood comes with a blitz. Fourth and a mile. Fourth and nineteen. So ready to receive. On that could line up the punt. Gets off a booming punt. And the ball is downed. Line. Down inside the ten. First and ten for the uh, Blue Devils from their own seven. Seven thirty two left. Here in the third quarter of play. And that play did not gain anything. So it's short. So it's second and 14. We got about second, 13. From the three yard line.
second and 14 from the three. Blitz is on. And short gain, if any. So another loss, so it brings it down to now third and 16 with the ball on the one yard line. Bring up third and 16. Quarterback back in the ends on the pass, and it's intercepted. Pass intercepted by number 19. Touchdown, Tigers. And the interceptions return for a touchdown. That makes the score now 26 to 6. Honaker with a lead of 20 points with 554 left in the third quarter. Steven 10 with a point after attempt. Honaker attempt to attempt the point after. Touchdown. Kick is underneath the goal post. No good. No good. That makes it still. Left in the third. Still remains 26 to 6. Devil 6. In favor of the Tigers. With 554 left in the third quarter. So Ryko will get set to receive the uh, kickoff. 5.54 left in the third quarter. <clears throat> On anchor with a 26 to six lead. So, here comes the kick. <clears throat> There's a signal for the kick, and the kick is down into 20. And he gets it up to about the 43 or 44 yard line. So, Castlewood has... Um, at their own 44, on a good return of about 24 yards on that return. First and 10. As Ryko, um, I keep wanting to say Ryko, that's not till later, sometime. Castlewood, down by 20. This possession is a key possession for them. They have to uh, establish some kind of offensive uh, momentum. And a short gain, if any. Leslie on the handoff. So, about one. So that would be second and nine. Second and nine. From the 44-yard line. They're on 44. And Honecker comes with a blitz. It's picked up pretty good. And the quarterback takes off running. Yes, sir. And he picked up some excellent yardage. And then proceed to get past the midfield. Blue Devil, first down. As they, and there comes the penalty. Flag on the play. Unsportsmanlike. Conduct against Castlewood. Against the Devils. 
So that marches it back about 15 yards. So I don't know what happened on that play. I didn't see what happened. But something provoked the Blue Devils into a penalty. So the ball's on the, on the uh, Castlewood 47, still first and 10, according to the scoreboard. And now whistles again. Now, they say resume play. Low snap. And loss of about... about and there's another penalty. See what this one is. Unsportsmanlike conduct this time against Honeaker. So that's a 15 yard penalty and still first, first down. And this puts it up about the 42 yard line of the Tigers for the uh, Blue Devils. 521 left in the third quarter. First and ten. Snap. Quarterback brings it out. And, and, and he gets to the 30-yard line of a gain of about 12. That's another first down. Castlewood's on the move right now, down by 20, with less than five minutes left in the third quarter. Still plenty of time. Just snap. Quarterback doesn't get anything that time. Right down to the backfield. Loss of about. <coughs> Loss of about two. Second and, 12. Second and 12 from the. Thirty two yard line. to about the 30, 29 or 30 yard line. I'm gonna bring up third and 10. So that brings up third and 10. Third and 10, blitz. Complete. Almost complete on a miraculous, would have been a miraculous, outstanding catch. But it falls incomplete. That brings up fourth down. Three and a half minutes left here in the third quarter play. 26 to 6 in favor of the Tigers of Honeaker. Fourth and 10 from the 29 yard line. on the pass play. That makes the score now 26 to 12. As Castlewood has cut the lead down from 20 to 14 with the PAT upcoming.
321 left in the third quarter as Castlewood creeps back into this game. And it looks like Looks like the Devils are going for the two point. Looks like they're going for two. They try to cut this lead down to 26 to 14. It's a low snap, gets to the quarterback's legs. He takes off, and they say no good. Hmm. No good. 321 left in the third. Yeah, from the angle, from the angle I had, it looked good, but the referee says no good. Castlewood done good on that, even to get that close on that play after the ball was a bad snap and went to the quarterback's legs and he was running for his life and almost made it. So that makes you score 26 to 12 in favor of Honecker as Castlewood will kick the ball to um, Honecker as the coach for Castlewood is having a discussion with, well was having a discussion with the referee. Twenty-six to twelve is your score. Honecker with the lead. Part two of the battle for Russell County for uh, Honecker is last week they lost to uh, Lebanon, nineteen to thirteen, and then later this year Castlewood will be playing Lebanon. So. Gibson preparing to kick off to the Tigers. 321 left in the third quarter as Castlewood is set to kick off. And there's a signal for the kick. And fairly good kick. Fumbled around, returned. He's going to return. It's in, inside the 35 yard line to about the 31 or 32 yard line. So, Honecker has the ball, first and 10 from their own 31. There's a fumble on the play, and Castlewood has recovered. So Castlewood takes over possession of the football. Down by 14, 26 to 12. And they have the ball at the, at the uh, Honecker's 32-yard line. A little over three minutes left to end the third quarter. So here comes Castlewood out on the field. Taking it. Play clock's winding down. There's the snap. And a first down for the Blue Devils. Blue Devils, first down. Inside the 15 yard line. First down, Castlewood. The ball on the 20 yard line. First and 10. Clock past the three minute mark. A blitz. And it looks like. Brought down at about the. First and goal! 
It's first and goal to go for the Blue Devils. On the option. Here comes Castlewood up to the line of scrimmage. They're on the four yard line. First and go to go from the four. Touchdown, Castlewood. That makes the score now 26 to 18. The Blue Devils are fighting back with their never say die attitude. So, will they go for two? They're down by eight. 26 to 18. Looks like we got Gibson in for the point after a tip. And they're going to try to point after. High snap, kick is up, and it's good. So, folks, we have us a ball game. Castlewood is now within seven points. 2019. Honecker with the lead with 2.02 left in the third quarter of play as we will get ready for the kickoff as the momentum has shifted. And the momentum has shifted with 2.02 left in the third quarter play with your score, Honecker 26, Castlewood 19. Castlewood set to kick off. Honecker set to receive. Kicks are ready to kick. And here comes the kick. And got a flag, so either a holding or illegal block in the back. One of the two is what I was, what I was, what I would assume. Holding against Honeaker, so that moves them back about 15 yards. A 10-yard penalty from the foul. So it's a 10-yard penalty from the point of the foul. So it's first and 10 from the 23-yard line. Brought down the, about the line of scrimmage in no game. So that running play netted about zero yards. So that brings up second and ten. Honecker back on their heels now, and Castlewood's got the momentum. They need to stop here to sustain that momentum. And there he goes. Brought down for a loss. We got about third, 13 or 14. That brings up third down with a little over a minute left in the third quarter of play. Third and 13. Let's get behind your Blue Devil defense. Crowd's fired up, players are fired up. And short, way short of the first down. So that brings up fourth down. Like about a fourth and six. There has been a black earbud found in the student six. Well, it ain't mine. 
Factor in the punt. Honecker forced the punt. And there's the fake. And short of the first down, that play backfired on the Tigers. So now, the Blue Devils, with the momentum, why? And the student section of Castlewood section's fans are saying, ain't no way. So we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> they did not make it. So the Blue Devils will have possession of the football. On a big gamble by Honecker. Big gamble with a capital B. So here comes the Blue Devils. <clears throat> See if they can sustain the momentum that they have. You have seven seconds left in the third quarter. And then we got 12 minutes in the fourth quarter. And who knows how much time we'll have after that. And that's the end of the third quarter play with his score. Honecker 26, Castlewood 19. Here we go. 12 minutes of regulation to go as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Castlewood with the football. Second and 14 from the 36-yard line. And pass is complete. He almost broke that in all the way. That's enough for a first down. Blue Devils, first down. Blue Devils on the move. And it looks like it might have been a fumble on the play. Like it was a fumble play, but recovered by the Devils. Blue Devils recovered. About second and six. Second and six for the uh, Blue Devils from the 17 yard line. 1043 and counting, left in regulation. Blue Devils down by seven, 26 to 19. And 
So the Blue Devils convert on a play where I couldn't tell who caught the ball because they both collided at the same time. We do have a hurt player. Man, we have a Honecker player down on the field. The Blue Devils now have a first and goal to go from the Honecker seven yard line, down by seven, 26 to 19, and threatening. There's a snap. And that looks like, that looks like a busted play. Back went one way and the quarterback went the other way. And they didn't meet. So it's first and go, a uh, second and go from the 12, a four yard loss. It's going to be second and 12, around the 12 yard line. Second go. Timeout, Devils. Castlewood calls their first timeout of the second half. 9.43 left in regulation. 26 to 19, Honecker with the lead. However, the Blue Devils are threatening as they have a, what well, they say first down, I think it should be second down. From their uh, Honecker 12 yard line. Okay, everybody's back out on the field now. Scoreboard says first down, but the line just says second and goal. Down to about the one. Third and go on the one yard line. Well, the fans up here saying it's third and an inch. I'm going as far as to say it's third and a half an inch. Third and short. Touchdown, Castlewood. That makes the score now 26 to 25, and a very important conversion attempt coming up. 8.57 left. Mm -hmm. After trailing 20 to nothing at one point, 26 to 6 at one point, they're now within one point of the Tigers. Going for the two point. And the Blue Devils are going for two. Timeout, Tigers. Honecker calls timeout to reset their defensive strategy. Twenty six, twenty five. Honecker was a slim lead, which at one point was 20 to nothing. Then it was 20 to 6, 26 to 6, and it's been all Castlewood since then.
And play about ready to resume. Apparently, Castlewood is still going for two. Key play at this point. And he overshoots the receiver. No good. 857 left in the game. Niners 26. Good effort, 25. 26 to 25. Honecker with the lead with 857 left. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Castlewood has got the momentum. To get with him one, they need this. They need a key stop here <coughs> to get the ball back in reasonably good field position and drive, get a sustained drive and take the lead if they can. And this is one of these games that, regardless of which team you're for, you don't want really want to see either team lose, but one of them has to. Both teams discussing the last second strategy on the kickoff. Honecker is hoping to shift the momentum. Castlewood wants to maintain the momentum. Have 8.57 left in the game. And there's the kick. Mm. Out of bounds. Round about the 12. A key mistake. A key mistake by the Honecker Tigers to field that kick. It was headed out of bounds, which would have brought it up to about the 40. However, they got to start from their own 12-yard line. So here we go. Knocked out of bounds. Round about the ninth. Fishman. Round about the 32. A game of about 20 on that little dump pass. Push them out to the 32. It's a first down. Ah! 8.45 left in the ball game. Castlewood down by one. Quarterback keep. And he might have gained a yard or two. Well, they say three, so it'd be second and about seven from about the 35-yard line. Second down. And... He's gone, and we got a flag back. That might be coming back. Holding against the Tigers. 
That nullifies the touchdown and brings the ball back with about 10 yards marching backwards. So instead of second and seven or a touchdown, it's now second and about 17, I think. Second and ten. Well, they're saying second and ten. Ball on the carry. Ball down to the line of scrimmage. And tackle for a short or no gain. Try gain of about one. Bring a third and nine. So they gave him a yard, so it's third and nine. Have a little over seven and a half minutes left in regulation. Castlewood down by one after trailing by as much as 20. This is the key play of the game thus far right here. An incomplete pass. As the receiver couldn't hold on to it, bobbled it, just couldn't gain possession of it. So that brings up fourth and nine. Mm. Fourth and nine, and Honecker looks like they're going for it. Timeout, Tigers. And Honecker calls her second timeout of the half. Seven oh nine left in the contest. You score Honecker twenty six, Castlewood twenty five, fourth and nine. Now they uh, line up to punt. They had originally lined up to go for it. Low snap, high kick, end over end. Takes a Honecker roll all the way inside the 20. Come back closer to 17 or 18. 17 or 18 yard line, first down for the Blue Devils. With a score, they can take the lead for the first time in the contest. Blue Devil ball on the 18-yard line. 82 yards of real estate in front of them. Earlier in a situation like this, they converted on a touchdown pass and um, run, a pass and or catch and run for 88 yards. They got one more play in them like that. Man, he's got some. He's got some none. First down, Castlewood. Oh. 
Castlewood at their own 39. First and 10. A little over six and a half minutes left in the contest. Last he's got the ball. Short gain. Game about one. Bring up second and nine. Second and about nine. Well, second and eight from the 41. They gave him a gain of two. Less than six minutes left. Pass in the middle is incomplete. Third and eight. Five fifty left in the contest. Castlewood down by one. 26-25, facing a third and eight from their own 41. And almost intercepted. Falls incomplete. That brings up fourth and eight. The ball game could be in the balance right here. They're almost in the, to the point that they have to go for it. Castlewood calls timeout. They have one left. So that sets it up. 546 left in the game. Fourth down and eight from their own 41 for the Blue Devils, who trail in this game by a slim 26 to 25 margin. To borrow a quote from one of my favorite singers of all time, from the title of one of his albums, Castlewood has fought this game tooth, fang, and claw to get back in it after trailing by as much as 20. And now to trail by one. And Castlewood is lined up to punt. And kicks out of bounds at about the... About the 34-yard line. The ball, the game is now in the hands of the defense. A quick three and out will give you plenty of time. First and 10 for the Tigers from their own 34, leading by one. 26-25. Throwing deep. And it's incomplete. Bring up second and 10. So that brings up second and 10 from their own 34. They got behind the defense. He just couldn't reel it in. Oh. 
535. Here's the time left in the game. With the Tigers up by one, 26-25. Second and 10. And a flag. False start. False start against Honeaker. That moves them back five more yards. So it'll be second and 15. We got second and 15. From their own 29. Get behind your defense. Make some noise. And the pass is incomplete. Third and 15. Third and 15. Right now, the Blue Devil defense has got the Honeaker offense back on their heels. Keep that love up for that defense. One more stop. And they'll still have plenty of time to pull this one out. Key play. Intercepted. And they take the lead for the pick six. 31-26 is your score. The Blue Devils, for the first time in the game, have taken the lead. Now, the all-important extra point. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> up for the two uh, going for two. Make it, it gives them a seven point lead. Incomplete. No good. 515 left in the game. Good doubles. 31. Tiger, 26. 31 26 is your score. Castlewood was their first lead of the game. And they got 515 left to hold on to it. It's been a game of two halves. Honaker dominated the first half, leading 20 to 6 at halftime. They took, re increased that lead to 26 to 6. And since then, the Blue Devils have scored the last 25 points to take the lead 31 26. Five minutes and 15 seconds left. So here we go. And here's the kick. Got a flag. Flag down on the kickoff return. Looks like I'd be moving back a little. Holding on Honaker.
After the play, balls will be marked at the 14. Well, the defense is ready. The offense is getting some instructions. And the referee te tells them with the whistle, you better get in here. Thirty-one twenty-six. Castlewood with the lead. Brought down around about the twenty-four. Gain of nine, second and one. About second and nine. Second. A little over four and a half, a little over four and a half minutes left. Mm. And you have a hard player. I have a Honecker player down. And I think they picked up the first down. Well, he gets up under. No, he don't. That's one of his teammates there beside of him. Thirty-one, twenty-six. Castlewood with the lead. Four twenty-five left in the contest. Castlewood looking for their second consecutive win to start the twenty twenty-two season. Honecker looking for their first win of the season. The Honecker player goes off on, under his own power, limping just a little bit. 4.25 left. 31.26. Castlewood with the lead. Honecker 76 yards away from pay dirt. And a flag down at the point of contact of the tackle. And apparently it's against uh, the Blue Devils. Face mask. Face mask. Yes, the Devils. Five yard penalty. I show him some love. Draw play, and the running back, uh, his feet came out from under him. So it's second down. About second, and four. second and four from their own 47. 53 yards away from pay dirt. A pass is complete for little or no gain. We got third and two. Gain of two. 
So we're talking third and two, 333 left in the contest. Castlewood up by five. Honeaker trying to come back and win. And they get enough there for the first down. So that puts them about at the 44-yard line of Castlewood. A little over three minutes left. Can Castlewood hold on and win? Or does Honecker have a comeback in them? And they're inside the 20 on that completion. Two fifty-nine. First and ten on the fifteenth. First and ten for the Tigers from the Castlewood 15-yard line. 15 yards away from regaining the lead. Brought up there by the host of Blue Devils. And he's brought down by a host of Blue Devils on that first down play. A little over two and a half minutes left. Castlewood trying to dig in to preserve this win. Honecker trying to dig in and regain the lead. Down to about the nine yard line. Be first and go. First and go to go. Two eleven left in the contest. Honecker scores a touchdown. They regain the lead. As it's 31-26, Castlewood. Less than two minutes left. And touchdown, Honecker. And they regained the lead with 144 left in the game. They regained the lead at 32 31. Going for timeout, Tigers. And their last. Honecker uses their last timeout of the contest with 144 left. And they decide whether they want to go for two or do they want to kick for the extra point. If they kick for the extra point, they give them a lead of 33-31, then all Ryko, um, Ryko, I won't keep saying Ryko, all Castlewood would have to do is get in the field goal range and kick the field goal to win it 34-33. If they go for the one, I mean, if they go for the two, which they're going for the one, so what I was going to say is irrelevant now. They're going for two.
And wide open for the two-point conversion. Makes the score now. 34. Thirty-four Tigers. Thirty-four thirty-one. One forty-four left. So to force an overtime, all Castlewood has to do is kick a field goal. They score a touchdown. They win the game. They still got one forty-four and one timeout left to accomplish that. And the fans on both sides are sitting on pins and needles waiting for this outcome. You got to give both teams credit. Neither one ever gave up. Castlewood fell down by 20 at 20 to nothing. Then it was 20 again at 26 to 6, and they stormed back to score 25 unanswered points to take a 31 26 lead until Castlewood scored to make it 34 31. So, here we come now to crunch time. Marshall's ready to kick. Shout out to the council, ready for receipt. There's the kick. Give Brings it up to in, near the 36 to 37, I believe. Brought down right about the 37. They got 137. 38. Okay, first and 10. First and 10 from the 38. 38. 62 yards away from victory. So, here we are. Game time situation what everybody wants game on the line with a little over a minute and a half left pass incomplete pass falls incomplete so it's second and ten Second and 10 from their own 38. 34 31. Honecker with the lead with 134 left in the game. Snap. Quarterback drops back. Throws. And it's almost intercepted. They're in four down territory. Just late in the game, 129, third and 10. You're going to have to hurry. Play clock's winding down. There's the snap. Quarterback back to pass. Throw is intercepted. That pretty much clinched the game. Castlewood has only one timeout left, so they can only stop the clock one time. So really, if Honecker picks up a first down, the game is over for sure. Because 
Castlewood can only stop the clock once. There's two options here. They can either try to get a first down and run the clock out, or they can force. Well, either way, Castlewood's going to have to use that last timeout. And they're going to take the knee. It's what they call victory formation. And Castlewood calls their and final timeout. So they they cannot stop the clock anymore. So Honeaker will hold on to win unless some unforeseen miracle happens. Second and 14. And they're content to run the clock out. So, more than likely, they'll take the play clock down as far as they can before they snap it. So that will be your final score, 34 to 31 in favor of the Honeacre Tigers over the Castlewood Blue Devils in the game that both teams fought hard for in. That will probably be the last, yes, that will be the last time the ball is snapped. So the game is over and your final score Honecker on top by a final score of 34 to 31. On behalf of ARC TV and my camera person, Lena, this is Donnie Jenkins saying so long, everybody.